Hi, I'm Tony Zito. Another Baton Rouge real estate video tip update today. Uh, what I want to talk about today is home values, uh, pricing a home. What's you know what's going on as far as you know the, the pricing in the Baton Rouge market. Um, what I have found the way that I price a property is I always want to start with what it will appraise for. That's very important because if you price a home higher than it's going to appraise, then you're going to have a real problem once you do get a contract, if you get a contract. And what I always tell my sellers is we have to have 10 showings and a contract in 30 days or the market's telling us that the home is priced too high. But the place to start is with an appraisal. Not necessarily that you have to go out and get one, but it's what I look at. I look at the comparable sales, the solds, and now even uh, for the first time, uh, because of what's going on in our market, uh, homes are taking typically longer to sell. Um, but one of the things that I do is I look at what the pendings are as well. So what that means, for instance, let's say if we take a home in Sherwood Forest, and if there's 20 homes on the market in that subdivision, and only two of them are pending, then what that tells us is that's the price basically people are looking to pay in that subdivision. And of course there's other variables. You have to look at the condition of the property. You have to look at exactly where it's located. Um, if it were, you know, for instance, on a busy street versus being on a, you know, in a neighborhood setting on, at the end of a cul-de-sac, that could have some, uh, some value, um, uh, determine some of the value. You also look at, um, you know, what amenities it may have. You also look at, is it under power lines? Uh, you know, there's some things to look for. Does it have a pool? Um, you know, uh, does it have a large workshop? You know, there's a lot of things to look at. And one of the things that I would tell you that we come across a lot is people may, you know, uh, upgrade, put uh, $20,000 worth of upgrades in it and expect to get that all back, whereas in reality that may only bring it up to standard. You know, that may, in other words, if your home is worth $200,000 and you just sunk 20 in it, it may be that it's now worth 20000 If you wouldn't have done those upgrades or done those things, it may not even bring that. Um, another thing that I would tell you is things like a pool. Uh, a pool would be a good example. You'll probably spend anywhere from twenty to, uh, no telling how much, much as you want, $100,000 on a pool. But don't expect to get very much back out of it. And, and, it, it, and what I tell people all the time, it's kind of like buying a car. When you go buy that car and drive it off the showroom floor, especially if you buy a new one, it's, it's, you're just not going to get the same money for it. If you try to sell it in a week, a month, six months, a year, you're going to lose a lot of money. And a lot of times that happens on upgrades in a home. You, you know, you'll go buy a, a real nice workshop and spend several thousand dollars on it when in reality it may only bring you back $500. But the first place that I always start is with the appraisal, what would this house appraise for? And we look at it in a real sense. You know, in other words, we really look at what it's going to appraise for, not just what you want to hear or what you need to get for it or what you want to get for it. Unfortunately, it just doesn't always work that way. Hope you got a couple tips out of this, and we'll see you in the next video.